What is up guys? Today we welcome to Learn with Illusionist and today we have a short demo or introduction to Synchro 11 which is a basically traffic signal timing software that helps engineers and transportation planners design, model, optimize and simulate various traffic segments and vehicle segments. So when we first open up Synchro 11 this is the screen we should get. So something along the lines of a map as well as a, what we say, the interface of Synchro 11. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that you do need a license to use Synchro 11, which you can find easily on the internet. And uh, next thing, if, the, if you are being shown a green screen like this one on the top, then what that basically means is that you have some kind of issues with the mapping segment on the top left right here. So one easy fix is just clicking to toggle uh, the map on. This is basically a Bing map and uh, that's that's uh, the, the globe turns it off sometimes. Or you can also go to map view if you, let's say you're in some other kind of view, uh, let's say detector template view, or you know when you're selecting intersections in a lane or volume view, when you click to map view, you suddenly come to the map interface. So let's talk a bit more on how do we find the place we want to mark a link or a location in and how exactly do we link it. So first thing we need to do is again activate the map if it is not showing up on the screen. Then we click on the Bing icon. What this basically is a is a Bing search box for the location you want. Um, Let's say I want somewhere in the Hollywood, all right? Yeah, yeah, as you can see, it pulled up Los Angeles here real quick. Um, let's go to um, Central Hollywood, why not? So as you can see, um, you can zoom in and out of the map through your scroll wheel. And so Synchro has two modes of selection. So the one I'm in right now, which has the four fingers pointing down and one finger pointing upward is the click and drag and you know basically resizing mode and then the other one is when you right click your mouse you have the normal cursor which is basically the selection mode this is where you can you know select insert and do various stuff with the data you have inputted in synchro so right now we are locating our location so it's best to use the the click and drag mode so let's have this intersection for example and this road you want to mark so the first thing we need to do is, again, in the mapping side, there is this option by the name add link. So you can either press that. And as you can see, your cursor moves to something like a magic wand. And uh, what that basically does is, is uh, shows that how you can insert a link in your map. Um, the other way which you can do this is, um, let me just quickly switch back to uh, normal selection screen. The other way you can do this is just by simply pressing A on your keyboard. As you can see, the cursor shifts again and we are in the link uh, adding mode. So for adding a link, what you need to do is you click the start point for, let's say I want it on the Santa Monica Boulevard. Uh, let's have it start from here. And then you drag, you don't drag basically, you click the start point and then you go and click the end point. Let's say the end point is here. So as you can see, let me just go to the drag. As you can see that, and then you can, you know, position it according to your needs. So it's perfect on that road. And um, when you are done positioning, you quickly go to Bing and you press the, you know, the small map button on the top left. So what that basically does is anchors it so before when we weren't anchored let me try moving you see the link moves but not the map but once i uh, you know place it and then anchor it and then i try to move you see the map moves and not the link which is i think a really helpful feature um so once you anchor you can zoom in and you can see that uh not exactly on the line again i can say you can go back and forth and make sure that it's perfectly aligned and yeah I think this is much better as you can see that I have laid down a road of my own on top of the already 
you know, uh, or already mapped road of Santa Monica Boulevard. Now we were now next step we need to do is basically just add these links to the interfaces you want. So right now I'm concentrating on this intersection. So again, I press A or go to the top left and I get this cursor again. And what I want to do is when we are talking about this intersection is make the, make the road which goes through this one, which is basically this. How you saw how I went from top to down of the North Highland Avenue. And we, we now have an intersection successfully. As you can see, it shows these four green boxes, which basically show how many crossroads are there. So for example, if there were, let's say only three crossroads, um, we have four over here, but I can, you know, just interpret it as three. So we stop here. As you can see, there are only three because there are no roads going down there. But over here, we have four intersections. So that's why we have the four green boxes. Uh, right now, I will delete this one. So d delete an intersection, you go to the selection, uh, the selection cursor, and then you select the intersection and then just press the delete button. It, sh it shows, do you want to delete link? Yes, in our case. And as you can see, we are back to, uh, you know, the previous instance. You can also press the undo or redo button to have it back or to not have it. So, um, um, but right now we will focus on this intersection. So once we have this intersection, we can do a lot of stuff with it. Initially, what we want to do is select the intersection and we have many things pop up. As you can see, before selecting the intersection, we didn't have half of the settings available on the top, but as soon as we selected, you can see almost all of them are available. So uh, one thing to note here is um, the on the top right where it shows no intersection selected right now. As soon as you select an intersection, it gives it a number. Yeah, you need to remember this when you're trying to import or export various CSV files or scripts as an input data, because this is the intersection number which um, Synchro has assigned to your intersection. Um, keeping that aside, you know, we have all kinds of menu options pop up on the top. Um, and we generally focus more on these settings. It depends on case to case scenario, but um, generally these settings look solid. The first thing I advise everyone is to check out main settings, but um, I think this is pretty good for an introduction video to Synchro 11. If you, in the next video, I will talk more on lane settings, volume settings, timing settings, or I can make short videos of each setting explained in detail. But for right now, uh, today we have covered how to open Synchro 11, um, how to select a location in the Bing map. Um, then after selecting your location, just zooming in and out, finding that perfect, the sweet spot where you want to mark your link. Then how we can select link using uh, you know, A or either on the top left. So once you select the link, you just drag and drop or you click the start point and then click again the end point and that's how you get the link. Then we selected how we can place it as a cursor. Uh, how can we basically anchor the link so that it doesn't move with our cursor and how we can also unanchor it if we want to move it from one location to another. Finally, we talked about creating an intersection, which is basically the collision of two links. When you, you know, supersede or overlap one link over the another, it automatically creates intersection, which has different properties involved in it and its name. All right, guys, so I will see you in the next one.